Welcome back to Fire Lake Arena in beautiful Shawnee, Oklahoma. We have six rounds coming up in the lightweight division. Conde Rosheen from Oklahoma City has five pro fights, has only lost one of them. Two KOs, he turns 29 next week. And his opponent, who is already in the ring in the blue corner, Ricky Alexander from Stillwater, 20 pro fights, six knockouts in there along the way. A few years older than Roisin at 35 years old. My name is Andrew Spino, joining me ringside, former Oklahoma heavyweight champion, Darren Humphrey. Darren, uh, you and uh, Ricky Alexander uh, go back to the same gym a few years back. What can you tell us about him as a fighter? Well, it was a little more than a few years back, but, <laughs> but yes, we, I, uh, I was we being fought generous. some same tournaments, uh, you know, in the amateur days. And, uh, you know, haven't seen him uh, fight in several years, but, uh, he, you know, I talked to his trainer back in the back uh, when they were doing their medicals, and uh, he had commented about how good a shape Ricky's in for this fight. So He, he uh, looks like he's in, uh, he's in good shape, especially for a 35-year-old guy. Across the ring, his opponent, uh, Conde Rosheen, very serious look on his face as uh, the referee is checking out the uh, lights, checking out the gloves, making sure there's no horseshoes tucked away in there. And <laughs> it looks like these fighters are just about ready to start. Let's sing it up to our ring announcer, Gerald Whalen. Ladies and gentlemen in attendance and those joining us at home, this bout is proudly brought to you by Metro PCS. Six rounds of boxing scheduled in the lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, he weighed in at an official 131 pounds. He hails from Stillwater, Oklahoma, ladies and gentlemen, Ricky, the Boogeyman Alexander. And his opponent from across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, he weighed in at an official 134 pounds. His professional record stands at four wins with one defeat, two wins coming by way of knockout from Oklahoma City, Oklahoma. Ladies and gentlemen, Condi El Ciclo Roshan. We go to Gerald Ritter for your instructions. These two come up to the center of the ring and square off. Darren, uh, tell me what you see. Well, I don't know much about Conde Rochin, but I know Ricky Alexander. <clears throat> As we mentioned earlier, we, we go back to the amateur uh, boxing, boxing days. But uh, I know uh, what I expect Ricky to do is come out, try to set the pace. Uh, you know, he's, he's real quick as a fighter, has good feet. Uh, I'm not sure what Conde brings to the table, but I'm sure he does bring something to the table. He's known for being a pretty hard puncher. Here we go, round one, lightweight, six rounds, brought to you tonight by HD Boxing. Ricky Alexander versus Conde Rochin. Looks like Rochin went to the body there good with a left hook and comes back up top. Looks and like he's bringing the leather. He is. Uh, both guys throwing pretty hard shots. I think his... Uh, as far as uh, hand speed goes, you know, it's maybe it's a little early in the bout to tell, but uh, from what I see so far, uh, Ricky Alexander has, has some pretty nice Come hand on, speed and puts together up. some decent combinations. Yeah, he does. Uh, he's got the better hand speed at this point, it looks like, but uh, Ro uh, Roisin looks like he has a touch bit more power, a little more on his punches. He does, and he's, uh, he was just very going, effective up against the ropes, slipping punches. Going to the body very well, but Ricky caught him. Very good. Good exchange of left hooks up top. Good left hand, right hook, or good left hook, right hand by Ricky as well. Now I think Alexander has the style, and Roisin has the power. When he lands those body punches, you can hear them thudding against the ribs of Ricky Alexander, probably seven or eight rows back. <laughs> yes, I would agree. He's a... He's, uh, He's certainly the bigger fighter, and as I mentioned, he's, uh, he's bringing leather for sure. You can hear it. And these old guys are tricky, man. You have uh, 20 pro bouts. You've learned a few things along the way that a guy with five bouts might not necessarily have seen. That's a great point. Uh, you can tell Alexander here is uh, doubling up the, the jab and the left hook. Throwing combination looks good. His technique is uh, very impressive. Both guys very good at uh, slipping punches. Uh, uh, Roisin bobbing and weaving. 
uh, away from those combinations. As as good as his hand speed is and as, as crisp as his combinations are thrown, Ricky Alexander actually isn't landing that much. That's a good point. Uh, Roshin uh, definitely has the longer punches, and uh, he threw two good right hands over here in the corner earlier and uh, a great jab there. He's really working his way inside with that jab. Good, hard, stiff jab, too. Not just mm. setting up the right hand, but that... That jab is a full punch within itself. Yes, it is. Alexander came back with two good uh, left hooks to the body again. Roshin comes back with one to the right. These guys are throwing leather. leather. They are both here to make a statement. Get off the rope. Get off the rope. For Roshin, of course, uh, the stakes might be a little bit higher since he's younger. He only has uh, one pro loss. So another loss on his record will... Uh, will has the potential to derail any career plans he has. So you can tell by the, the, the look of determin the determination on his face, he came here tonight all business. This is the end of round one, lightweights in Shawnee, Oklahoma, round two coming stop, stop, up. Stop, 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 time. Good job, guys. <laughs> HD Boxing at Fire Lake Arena in Shawnee, Oklahoma. This fight, six rounds in the lightweight division. This is round two. Ricky Alexander fighting out of the blue corner wearing the white trunks, or rather the red trunks with white trim. Fighting Conde Roshin wearing the black trunks uh, with red trim. Uh, Darren Humphreys, Humphrey, singular. How, how would you how would you score the uh, the first the first round? It it looked to me like uh, Roshin landed the harder shots more consistently, but uh, yeah, Alexander's got a little flash to him. Yeah, he does. Uh, I'll probably give that first round to Roshin just because of the power. Felt like his punches were a little longer, had some more pop. Um, I do agree, Ricky probably threw us a little bit better combinations, uh, but I felt like Roshin probably controlled that first round. Of course, Alexander not exactly known for having a steel jaw in the lightweight division, and Roshin has yet to really go up top with anything as hard as he has thrown to the body. Yeah, and you can tell Roshin is starting to walk him down now. Ricky's circling in and he out, is. and Roshin's and I think cutting that him hurt. off. And I, I think Alexander was hurt as he's pinned up uh, in his own corner. Certainly, you certainly have to admire Alexander's uh, technique. He's uh, he's uh, a, a quite a technical fighter. I, I, at least from where I'm sitting, uh, perhaps a little bit more than Roshin. That doesn't necessarily mean he's winning, though. True. Uh, I feel like Ricky's, uh, you know, like I said, he's moving, throwing good combinations. But at this point, Roshin's kind of walking him down. Uh, I think. Oh, in order good for counter right hand coming off the ropes. Yeah, in order for Alexander to change something, he's going to have to to make Roshin respect him. Roshin's just walking him down, throwing And now Roshin shots. is teeing off as Alexander has his back up against the ropes, taking heavy shots, the body and head. Alexander, though, not going down without a fight. He is throwing leather back and he's landing, but can't seem to get his back off that ropes and. Uh, it, he's vulnerable, obviously, when uh, when he's pinned up against the ropes, and especially in the corner. Yeah, and uh, Alexander needs to keep that left hand up. They both do. They're both catching each other with uh, some wild shots there, working offside the ropes. Some nice body shots by Alexander. But I got to say, as, as impressive as some of the punches that Alexander has landed, at least they've looked and sounded impressive, Roshin seems really unaffected. He does, and I think you can tell that because he's just walking Alexander down now. Here they are trading punches oh, great body in the shot. red corner oh. as we wrap up round two. And at the end of round two, Ricky Alexander staggering back to his corner. <laughs> Here we go, round three of scheduled six rounds in the lightweight division, brought to you by HD Boxing. Yeah, we still have a long way to go, and, uh, you know, it's whether or not Alexander can, can keep absorbing those big shots as the fight goes on. Well, he seems to have recuperated pretty well in the one minute between rounds. He, uh, 
He's throwing nice combinations. Footwork's good. He doesn't look wobbly or uh, his head uh, head looks pretty clear considering how he staggered back to his corner after round two. Yeah, I would agree with that. He's also got a great cornerman and Bobby Arthur, uh, who's been in the game a long time. Uh, worked with Ricky uh, quite a bit through his amateur career and, and most of his pro career. So, uh, like I said, he's got a good corner. He definitely knows what he's doing in there. Come on, Ricky, move. That's it. move. Huh. Ricky can, is landing a handful of jabs here and there that look impressive, but all oh, those body shots from uh, from Roshin are are taking a toll. And, and you can tell what a toll they're taking by just the fact that Alexander is not moving as well as he was in the first two rounds. Right, but something I noticed what he's doing is once he's getting on the inside, he's tying up. And that's something he's, you know, good. I'm sure his corner probably told him that. If you're going to get inside with Roshin, tie him up. He's, uh, you know, that's where he's landing a lot of his punches. Well, Roshin is so strong, though, and he certainly can't stand toe-to-toe -to -toe and trade punches with Roshin. And it looks like he's making that mistake now as they fight their way back to Roshin's corner. Roshin ting off. Alexander staggering. Referee Gary Ritter debating whether to step in and Alexander knocked through the ropes. Ritter giving him the count. He's up at seven. Ritter wiping off the gloves and says no more. This fight ending in round three. Conde Roshin knocking out Ricky Alexander in round three. This bout brought to you by Metro PCS ends at one minute and 52 seconds into the third round. Your winner by TKO out of the red corner, Elsie Clone. Come here.